So there you go. And hey, you know what? I'm proposing to build a rename our weather center, the Paul Deano Weather oh. Center. How about that, Paul? <laughs> you will probably change your tune on that by Saturday. <laughs> so okay. Two days. We'll it's, rename it's it for all, those two days. It's all good when it's sunny out. But uh, yeah, there they may not have the same opinion a few days from now. We've got some great weather today. These are some lucky folks right there, probably tourists who are just coming here with an open schedule. Most of us, our schedules aren't open. But we can get outside and enjoy some sunshine. Just open the windows if that's the least you can do because this is the kind of day. You don't need the heater. You don't need the air conditioner. Just get some fresh air in. And the air quality is pretty good today as well. 68 degrees in Santa Monica. Ontario, yesterday you hit 80, tying January 27th as the warmest day of the year. You're going to get warmer than that today, and you'll beat it again tomorrow. So today and tomorrow for the Inland Empire, are your two warmest days of the calendar year. Saturday and Sunday will not qualify as the two warmest days. They wouldn't even for Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, 64 degrees on Saturday, 65 on Sunday. As of this minute, it looks like Saturday is trending to be the wetter of the two days. We may even get through Sunday mainly dry, but it's going to be breezy. It'll be raw, kind of cloudy, only in the mid-60s. So not what we have outside right now. Long Beach, you've got 75 outside right now. So you can see the difference. Lunchtime 75 today at its warmest over the weekend, mid-60s. So please enjoy today. High temperatures. Actually, these aren't highs. These are the current temperatures. They've updated again. 79 in downtown Los Angeles, 82 in Simi Valley, 79 in Riverside, 81 in San Bernardino. It is warm outside. One of the warmest afternoons of the year. For many of you, it will be in a couple hours. San Fernando Valley, very comfortably in the low 80s and not much wind. Yesterday, you had some wind gusts 15 to 25 miles per hour. Today, we're not seeing that. Only a 5 to 10 mile per hour breeze. Our ridge of high pressure giving us the warmer weathers on the move. Yesterday and today, the winds are wrapping around that ridge, giving us a north wind, a northeast wind offshore, cutting off the influence of the ocean. As it moves to our east, it's going to open up the door for a different wind direction. We'll begin to see that change as soon as this afternoon. Some low clouds hugging our coastline, pushing inland overnight tonight. So anywhere from about the 405 back to the beach, you'll be cloudy tomorrow morning. You'll get sunshine tomorrow afternoon, but that's the beginning of the change that's going to take away the heat. Once that ridge is completely gone, a pretty weak storm, but a storm nonetheless is going to move right over Southern California, giving us light to moderate rain at times, especially on Saturday. So there are two days in this extended forecast with a rain chance. They happen to be Saturday and Sunday. Today, tomorrow and Friday, we're dry. We'll see rain over the weekend. And of course, we dry out next week. That's the forecast. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.